Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. I'm Mountain Man. And I'm JoJo's Mojo. This should be a fun match. You have your Western Crimson Rocket League taking on St. Mary's Rattlers, St. Mary's University. And right now, WCU looking to be off to an early fight or just an early show of force going up one nothing 10 seconds in yeah a shot there from smoles and a triple commit from saint mary's rattlers opening up the net for the mountaineers that is just something that you like to see from your mountaineer team i mean down sean this week a little bit hesitant from the mountaineers to go into this match Oh my gosh, and almost a quick follow-up. There is a quick <laughs> follow-up as Smalls gets the rebound of Thing's crossbar shot. The Mountaineers showing that they really don't need Sean, who is who has been the driving force for the past eight weeks. Yeah, Western Colorado going up 2-0 here in 19 seconds into game one. This is a best of three series. And right now, just taking a look at the leaderboards, WCU needs a 3-0 tonight to keep the first position. If they get the 3-0, they guarantee that they will not be matched, I believe. That being said, St. Mary's needs this win to push them up in the standings to a hope of getting third. So this is two teams who once again could be seeing each other late in the playoffs, but right now it's looking to be all Western. Smalls from Thing once again. Yeah, WCU coming out hot. Definitely, every time WCU has done this, uh, a lot of times they lay off in the middle game, but the way they've come out so far, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens here. Yes, I mean, right now it's just looking like the West, or the Mountaineers are just wanting to send a message fast, early, and strong, trying to build as much of a lead as they can, and they're through it again! <laughs> we'll be the Smalls! Wow, that is... This is a way to start game one. Yeah, I, uh... I'm curious. Uh, I mean, there's no uh, mercy rule in the NECC, so we will we will see how high the Mountaineers can get. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you just kind of want to... I, I don't want to be mean, but you don't want to have the game be 30 minutes just because you keep scoring. <laughs> and off of kickoffs like this, the way that it looked like earlier with the Mountaineers Ooh. practicing and getting warmed up for the game, I mean, we'll see how they do on defense. This is the first real opportunity that St. Mary will have to attack, but... From what it looks like and from what it sounded like, they were just cooking, ready to go, and feeling good. Oh my god! Smalls. Smalls. Four goals on the board. Oh my gosh. Smalls is uh, coming out hot here. That touch was insane. You really can't get a better touch than that at midfield. And having just landed to slightly reposition his car to get that rifle downfield. This is the, I think, fastest five goals I've, I've seen in a competitive match. This is the fastest five goals <laughs> I think I've seen in any match for Rocket League. Like, this is unreal. The Mountaineers are just playing, I mean, on a whole nother level tonight. I feel like they do know that with Sean gone, they want to prove that they're still deserving of that top of the leaderboard, and they're just coming out with a speed that St. Mary's couldn't have expected. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking uh, WCU... Honestly, just kind of came out early, got a couple good uh, goals, got St. Mary's on their feet. I do think game two will be closer. I'm, I really do. I'm hoping. I do. I hope so. But in the same respect, Oof. I don't. I want Western <laughs> to just 3-0 and commandingly so. Right now, it looks like it will be another chance on the attack for St. Mary's as Willby just sends one of the St. Mary's team flying and... Good redirect there from Smalls. I mean, as you said, four goals on the board. Really solid play. But I think that so far the defensive... Or there hasn't been a necessity for any defense coming from Western. Woo! And there's just going to be a shot down from Ivy New. And that will put St. Mary's onto the board. 5-1 to one, though. 240 left. We're about halfway through this game. Yeah, Smalls almost had that. Looks like he didn't pick up that boost pack until the last second there, unfortunately. I mean, sometimes it just happens, and you can't do too much about it. it. I mean, right now, Western's definitely feeling comfortable. Quick 5-1. to one. You can't be upset about that. Almost a 6-1 to one here. Nope, it's 6-1. to one. <laughs> Will be correcting is. me. Seven goals <laughs> right at the halfway point. This is kind of unheard of so far. <laughs> yeah, this is an insane game. Especially, if, you were saying this is the number three, they're fighting fourth, for the number three seed. Their fourth so. seed right fourth now, seed. if they take this victory, they have a chance at being number three. This will be the last match you see from Western Crimson for, until playoffs. Yep. Oh my gosh, Whoopi. 
What a redirect. A great save from Collected Gold. Yeah, like, wonderful shot there. Wonderful just team passing there for the Mountaineers. I mean, right there, I think Collect Gold definitely looked more for the redirect on the shot instead of trying to pass it wide again, but definitely didn't do him any disservice as it's now a center from Thing <laughs> looking for small. Smalls just goes for the demo instead. It was a good demo idea. That ball just came in, got pinched slightly off the backboard. I think mainly what it was... A what was the idea? Was Smalls trying? Oh, and speaking of Smalls trying, he misses that save in that clear. But what I think he was going for was trying to demo for Whoopi to come in and get the cleanup touch, but yep. just a little bit mistimed from, or a little bit of a miscommunication maybe. But still, six to two, just under two minutes left. This is an insanely high scoring game this early on. Like, keep in mind, this has only been three minutes of game time. Yeah. And most of the goals came in the first, what, minute 20? That was a great show of dominance from Western early on, and I think that is what's going to set the tone for this series. St. Mary is not a team, you can't just count them out this early. Good clear from Thing, as they almost do, and Ivy Noob almost gets his third of the match, but... Yeah, I feel like St. Mary's is playing a little defensively, but not defensively enough here. Mountaineers now a seven goal, seven to two over the Rattlers. And Thing gets his first of the match, but he has been a workforce everywhere else. I think it's, I think he's just, uh, I, I saw one goal, I think maybe four shots, four saves or assists somewhere in there. Mm. And this is a fast start for the Mountaineers, faster than they've played this season. And something that I'm, whew, <laughs> I mean, you can't be upset with. No, definitely not. Uh, definitely a good, uh, Hype up match too before playoffs. I think my only thing that I'm gonna say is I'm sad that this isn't happening <laughs> next week. This is happening a week early. But oh my gosh, there's I believe the Barcelona is what it's called. The eight to two score. Still not even a minute left. We're still over that point. This is yeah. We've only dominant. seen like one or two mistakes here from the Mountaineers, and like aside from that, their team chemistry, their passes, their shots everything's just spot on right now i mean just as the temperature seems to be warming up up here in the, the coldest part of the area that western is it seems like the mountaineers have been warming up all season and as they've done so they just keep getting closer and closer to just showing it every team pure dominance and we see that here as saint mary's is just struggling to get any control out of their half I've probably only seen this ball down on uh, WCU's side. Maybe 10% of the game, a shot there, thing able to get up on that defense. What I'll be interested to see is if this is a replay uploaded to Ball Chasing. It's a website that you can actually look at more in-depth stats for the game than just what is shown on the scoreboard. So it can show how fast someone, was, like what percentage of full speed someone was going, what percentage of like how far, how much boost they used throughout the game, positions things like that, but as we get down here, three seconds left, it's safe to say that Western won game one, but they might be going for a ninth here. Nope, it's still just eight, two, two in game one. That was dominance at its finest. Yeah, well played there from the Mountaineers. Let's take a look at this scoreboard. I mean, Small's carrying with four goals, two assists and six shots. Thing coming in second though on WCU side, two, four, one and five and will be at 2 one oh, and 8 Just a lot of passes and shots coming from the Mountaineers. Only two of those goals went unassisted. Yeah, definitely uh, some great play there from Western Colorado University. Well, here we go. We are in game two. Should be interesting as we get back in. We'll see how St. Mary's reacts. They might need to come out a lot faster, but they readied up really quick. Both teams did. Yeah, I think St. Mary's just looking to put that game behind them. Oh, and Collected Gold left the match. Might have just been a disconnect there. And WCU going to capitalize going up 1-0. You can't pause in the middle of a game. There's the reconnect from Collected Gold. So, unfortunate start for St. Mary's, but... Yeah, it's actually the first time I think we've seen that this season, so... At the very least on the Mountaineer side, yeah. Yeah. But... I mean, 15 seconds in, a bit slower start than last game for the Mountaineers. <laughs> Just slightly. Still still taking that early lead. WCU still back on the attack. I mean, once again, it's just 
all Mountaineers right now. St. Mary's can't seem to get any control as, speaking of losing control, Ooh, oh, good luck there, just missed. Great chance it. from Ivy Noob, and I believe that was collected gold who just missed the follow up, and then a missed shot from whatever the guy's name is. It starts with an M. Yeah, St. Mary's really needed that there, but they're still attacking, so we'll see if WCU is able to clear it here. I think Western really just playing a lot slower this time and not wanting to step as much on the gas as last game. So, as you said, they backed off a bit in game two. That's what it's looking like so far, but the control is still in Western's favor. There's not much St. Mary's is going to be able to do throughout the rest of the series. Good communication there, as we see mm -hmm. Wilby actually back off, allowing Thing to take the chance. Oh my gosh, he tries to sneak it just inside the post. Unable to do so, but Smalls is there, gets a second shot. Triple commit from St. Mary's. It'll be an open net if someone can get there for Western. No, as there's another double commit from St. Mary's. I mean, right now, the communication being a driving force and why Western took game one so handily and why it's looking like with Smalls going for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. That is the definition of faking right there. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely calculated from Smalls. Definitely <laughs> intentional, not trying to get the pop onto the top corner at all, but Thing able to fully collect it and with composure put it into the net. Three and a half minutes left, 2-0 the Mountaineers. Yeah, minute and a half into this game, WCU leading. I don't know if WCU can be stopped. I don't think so. And right now, it looks like the Mountaineers are just here to have fun. You can see they're a bit less tight on their rotations, a bit more loose on their controls. They're having a lot of fun, though. Yep. You can just see that with how they're playing, the types of shots they're going for, the positioning, the passing like that straight up the middle on a save. That's not what you <laughs> want to do normally. But right now, the confidence from the Mountaineers is just everywhere. I mean, after an 8-2 victory and already being up two goals here in game two, I don't see why not. Yeah. They definitely have I mean, some fun with it. I mean, right now St. Mary's definitely has a chance on the counterattack, but not able to capitalize. MKVN, so M. Kevin. I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely playing a lot slower, only at 90 points. So, and... 50 of that was a save, 10 of that, so only like 15, 20 touches from him this entire game. But the Mountaineers, I mean, it, they are playing a lot slower, but they're still just in full control. Even on clears like that, they're still ready for any... Oh, maybe not ready for that. Ivy New, definitely the one who is to be feared on St. Mary's side, brings the game back within one. We are still just about at two minutes in this game, and that's enough time to swing any momentum. Absolutely, only a one point game in Rock League is not very much. Good shot there from the Rattlers, uh, well played, way to kind of just carry his momentum into it and just tap it over WCU. Well, <laughs> I mean, Smalls and Thing, once again, working together, finding an answer to what St. Mary's just put onto the field. It's now three to one, a great bump from Smalls there, forces Ivy Noob to just sit still. You can't do anything there. No, you, you go can't. For, you immediately try and get it, you get bumped again. If you don't, you get scored on. Uh, two minutes and nine seconds remaining here. We'll see what St. Mary's has in, in their pocket. And again, just cool, calm, and collected from the Mountaineers as there is now a double commit up high with both Thing and Smalls. It's going to be controlled once again by Ivy Noob. I mean, it looks like what the Rattlers are doing, which I can't say is going to be working in their favor in the long run, is having one person be the driving attack, one person playing midfield, and then one person defending. And as I said, in the long run, not working. 4-1 to one for the Mountaineers as Wilby finishes that center from Thing. Yeah, this is uh, one of the few collegiate teams we've seen uh, just kind of keeping a player in goal, and it's not working. <laughs> I mean, that only really works if you have someone who can get back to net as well pretty quickly from wherever they are on the field, and having it staggered in that kind of eye formation, something that you more see in, like, doubles tenant. Oh my gosh, Smalls. That just... That just seems mean. <laughs> I think, that's, uh, I think that's a nail in the coffin for this game. Uh, Mountaineers up four oh. points now with a minute 37 remaining. Smalls pinched it into the defender, collected gold, accidentally own goaling there. This is just, again, I can't say it enough. This is just dominance from the Mountaineers. Will be with a great challenge, looking to try and get a shot. Demos IB Noob. And Thing looks for a centering pass, finds it. Is there anyone there? No. Smalls tries to finish it, but not able to do so. 
But as we see with the Mountaineers, their speed it really comes in play or comes into play in question when you're trying to go back on defense like that. And as you saw, Wobby had the first touch and Thing was there quickly for the second. Oh, speaking of being there for the second touch, almost gets the finish on that center from Ross, or Smalls, but... Yeah, kind of going back to St. Mary's uh, formation. The issue is they are getting good crosses, good centers, but there's only one player there, and oftentimes WC defense is there before that player even, so... I think that's one of their main struggles. Mountaineers working together great as a team, good team rotations, and... That's the deciding factor here. Yeah, and again, that I formation really just limits all options, and it really slows down your speed as well. There's not anyone going either way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thing and Raw, or Smalls, once again. What are you even, like, what what can you do from St. Mary's side? Like, there's nothing. I mean, at this point, you're down five or 33 seconds, so no, nothing in this round. <laughs> uh, as far as next round goes, though, I do think they need to kind of just change up their rotations. I really think that's one of the main issues. Overall skill gap, it does appear the Mountaineers are just better in that sense. but. And it might just be that the Mountaineers have played more recently, too. They have been putting in the work on their own a lot from what I've seen, just between seeing Steam Friends online and just while in game. St. Mary's does get the second goal. Yeah, good shot so. there from Collected Gold. Looking like it's going to be about on pace with last game. 6-2 to two lead for the Mountaineers. I mean, obviously it's an unwinnable situation for St. Mary's, but I think at this point just try and get as many goals at the end as you can, but overall I think the Mountaineers are just playing a stronger, safer, more structured game. And as we see Thing going in, speaking of structured, gets a pass to Wooby, and Wooby finishes it 7-2. to two. Six seconds left. This is just unreal. One of the best performances from the Mountaineers all year, aside from maybe week one. But yeah, overall, the Mountaineers are just crushing this series. Yeah, WCU definitely going to be looking to just close it out in three. I'm curious how game three looks, if they come out the same uh, momentum they have, or if it's going to be a closer one. Yeah, and this is going to be game two in Western's favor. And as we look at the scoreboard here, Thing and Smalls still holding the top of the leaderboard from Western's perspective. We'll be at the bottom, but I mean, pretty evenly spread in terms of goals. Assists a lot fewer from will be this game, but overall, just the team play from Western is really what is just doing everything. And is there a Yep, collected gold, left the match once again, probably just misclicking or something, but right now not seeming to do too much as there is a constant reconnect, and Western just playing strong, smart, Rocket League, that's all I can really say. And he's back. He is back, and he's sitting back in net. Looks like we will see M. Kevin sitting back at net once, excuse me, again for the Rattlers, and I think that that play of having that defender only works if you have two people working as a team throughout the rest of the field, which St. Mary's really isn't. Western just has everyone there all at once, and it just, it almost feels like it's a 4v1, or a 4v3 here. There almost seems to be an extra player in Western's favor, which is just the difference. Yeah, I think WCU just a lot better with their passes, uh, having two options to pass to rather than just the one player. <coughs> WCU just doing a good job defending the essentially any play that St. Mary's has tried to throw at them. So. And thwarted once again by Smalls as he gets the touch on that big pass. It's going to be dished back right to Collected Gold who doesn't who wasn't ready for it and just gets taken out by Wooby. Smalls on the small mistouch and a little bit of miscommunication coming from the Mountaineers here, but Thing is up in the air, tries to dunk Gold. Gold gets a great save. It's going to be a center from Smalls. Is there going to be anyone to follow? No. Good touch there from St. Mary's. They're able to clear it out, but WCU still on the attack. I mean, right now, on this attack, WCU just... It's... Again, the series has been all Western, but this time it's all Ivy Noob as he takes it down, giving St. Mary's their first lead this series. Yeah. Again, uh, definitely uh, Ivy Noob is one of their better players and watching kind of them 
just get in the right position. That's kind of all that's yeah. been happening. He's definitely multiple of those goals have been kind of open net goals. So, I mean, a good call off from Wobby there as he tries to pass the thing. Thing not able to find it. Smalls now with a center looking to try and get it to anyone else. No one. And I mean, even though they're down 1 0, Mountaineer still playing with the confidence of being up by five. They are just not backing down with anything. As we see Smalls actually turn back there to defend that aerial attempt from IB Noob. Maybe a boost deal coming from Smalls onto IB. It looks like there is. It's going to force Marys to back off. And a, I mean, a miss, but it worked. Faked out St. Mary's and just no one able to follow it. Now it's going to be a two-on-one here as Smalls chases up. It's going to be a one-on-two, actually. And there will be the rule one that it's just going to play. It's going to be a 2v2 for a minute here as, ooh, St. Mary's. Yeah, going up 2-0 here in game three. They've definitely turned it around. Still two minutes, 23 seconds left, so plenty of game time for the Mountaineers to close out this series, but St. Mary's looking good. I mean, yeah, they definitely found their momentum, their speed, their pace, and they've, they're have they starting to play their game, not Western's. If Western can slow down, play a bit more controlled and smart, then it looks like there might actually be, like, I feel like they will actually end up taking the series, but, and right there, yeah. <laughs> slow down and playing their game, taking their passes, taking their opportunities when they come. Thing just having a little bit of a celebration there. A yeah, good little tap there from Wooby and Thing coming in, scoring from three quarters of the field down. That's a long shot there. Yeah, I mean, good shots, good placement, and that's all you really need. It's going to be over for Wooby now, who comes up on the side of the wall. And playing it off the corner, looking for a finish on his own, not able to find it. Good luck there, though. Yeah, and speaking of good looks, Thing going to pass it center and gets the finish <laughs> on his own. Oh my goodness. Well played there. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a battle between Thing and Noob right now. Just who's going to do the most for their team. And right now it's looking to be Thing. Coming back in a matter of like, what, 20, 30 seconds? Less than that, yeah. Mountaineers tied up 2-2 here in game three. And Wubby goes for a weird kickoff. Can't say I necessarily agree with it. <laughs> there will be the boost coming from Collected Gold, but... Open net and they score. Just kickoff goal after kickoff goal right now. Two in a row off of the kickoff. Frank Western just maybe getting a little cocky. I've got to say it. I hate to say it, but I've got to. They're getting a little cocky. I mean, after the first two games, well, I, I don't. I, I can't yeah. say I blame them, but I think I'd be in the same boat personally. <laughs> <laughs> but they do need to realize they should take this series in three. If they do, they sh will have a great chance at being first in the division going into playoffs. Smalls looking for a double touch, doesn't get it. Thing looking to follow up, can't. Wilby now looks for a pass center. Tries to take it himself, isn't able to. Thing now going to play it off that wall on his own once again. Tries to get the block to put it center, not able to do so. Gold now playing with his team, and or playing with Noob. Oh, Smalls popping it over Wilby there. But Smalls going to get the aerial control, bumps, collected gold back to the wall. Going to take this dribble, <laughs> air dribble from Smalls. Getting that bump really saved him. Like right there, you can see Gold just got caught on that corner and you can't do anything. And the air control from Small is really coming into play. Absolutely. That's always tough to defend because you really don't know where they're going to tap it when they have control like that. And speaking of control, kickoff going in Western's favor. And Thing trying to get a shot, unable to do so, put, trying to put Western back on top this game. So far, Western has yet to find their lead. Ben St. Mary's just answering every chance that they can. Wilby gets a great block, clears it wide. It's going to be a Thing looking to get a pass over. Wilby's going to go up, get a touch. Thing going to go up, looking for a pass center once again. Finds it, Smalls to finish. Oh, just off target. 30 seconds left in game three. Good clear from Thing, but it's going to be an easy follow-up for St. Mary's. Oh. No, they hit it off the post. Still up, but Thing is there, able to clear it. Tough miss there for St. Mary's. And again, a tough miss, just playing it off the side and off the side again. There comes a point where you need to stop going for the backboard passes, guys. you got to try and put it into this. you got to put the round thing in this rectangle hole. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, that's not what I learned in school growing <laughs> up. But, uh, <laughs> I know it's generally square. Think of the square hole, but Western does it. Four seconds left, and I think that's going to be the series thing. Finishing Small's effort, just getting the dunk. I mean, a double commit from Western, but not enough of a commit from St. Mary's to defend. That might do it. I'm pretty sure that if Western plays this kickoff really smart, which they will, and that's gonna be a pop highest thing in the goal up to try and just finish it. You <laughs> will, but a whiff and Western takes the series three nil. Well played there from the Mountaineers. Complete domination in those first two games. And and game three definitely got a bit worrisome for a second there, but overall just pure dominance from Western from the series start to series end. And with the series ending, yeah, that'll think, do it think for us here. That'll uh, do it for us here. Unfortunately, Valorant did have to take a forfeit victory tonight. So Valorant, I think, will be close on first. Yeah, Valorant first. will, I believe, clinch the number one seed because of that. And so. I think because of this, the 3-0 Western, I think, clinches their first seed yeah. in Rocket League. So two teams going in at number one in two playoffs. That's pretty solid. Yeah, definitely excited for that. Um but for tonight, that'll be it. I'm Mountain Man. I'm JoJo's Mojo. Have a good night.